Hi class, so we come to chapter 6. We, I actually explained many times in Zoom, I guess, um, two or three times about the generation of electricity. For, for chapter 6, it is actually uh, Sambongan from your Form 2 syllabus. This is second part. Okay, so uh, the first thing you have to know, we have two types of energy. One, we call it renewable energy, not one, and another one, we call it non-renewable energy. So the keyword here for renewable energy is the energy that it can be replaced continuously. So non-renewable energy means that it cannot be replaced in short time, like uh, petroleum. Yes, it only forms after millions of years, so we cannot uh, get replacement in a shorter time. Okay, so example of it, you have to know what is renewable energy, non-renewable energy, and it is actually not the new things for everyone, right? Okay, so how does the electricity generate? Okay, so we use generator. We always talk about generator, but what is generator? So you have to understand that when current flow through a conductor, let's say this is wire, okay, when current flow through a conductor, there will be magnetic flux light around it. Okay, this is not a new thing, you learn it in form 2. Okay, so when there is current flow through, you have magnetic flux line. So how to determine the direction of magnetic flux line? We use right hand grip through. Okay, you see that? You grip your right hand, this is your thumb. Your thumb will point towards the direction of the current. Okay, point towards the direction of the current and your finger will show the uh, direction of the magnetic flux line. Okay, so this also your, if you still remember, this is your March exam question. Okay, so we know that when there is electric current, there will be magnetic flux. So uh, when there is magnetic flux line, you see that this is permanent magnet. We have South Pole, we have North Pole. We know that the magnetic flux line actually come out from North and it got into South. Now I have a wire. This wire, no current, okay? So the wire will move up and down, up and down just to cut through the magnetic flux line. We cannot see the magnetic flux line, but we know that it exists, right? But we can just simply test it by using compass. You put a compass in between North Pole and South Pole, it will point towards South Pole, right? So when we use this wire to cut across the magnetic flux line, it actually will produce current in this wire. So current will start to flow. That's because the magnetic field here will exist a force. So it will actually push electron in the wire to move around. That's how we generate electricity. Of course, this is only one wire, which is not enough. So instead of one, we prefer a whole loop of wire. We call it solenoid. Okay, so whole loops of wire, we make it gulong, 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 gulong like that. And this is what we call solenoid. One wire is wire. When we gulong, gulong, we call it, we give it a name, we call it solar. Noid, solenoid okay so solenoid here i put one milliammeter let's say to detect whether there is current flow through or not and then i will put in a permanent magnet magnet okay permanent magnet bar no four and sub four let's say okay and then i have i have to move on huh? i have to move because the condition to produce electric current is you have to cut through the flux line okay you know that this permanent magnet you have flux line right no four to south four, no four to south four. You know that this happened, right? So you have to make the wire cut across the magnetic flux line. So how we do that? Okay, so I will redraw it like this. Okay, so we I redraw it like this, make it bigger. Okay, so milliammeter, let's say, because the current that produces is very small. So this is my magnet, no four and south four. I will drop it in and then put it out. Drop it in, put it out, in and out, in and out, in and out, so that there is cutting. There is disturbance of magnetic flux. You must have relative motion. This is what we call relative motion. Uh, the key point here is you must able to cut through the uh, magnetic field line, then it will produce induced current. Okay, so that's how we actually produce uh, uh, general electricity. This is your textbook class. Look at your textbook. Look at your textbook, okay? So you see that when the wire moves in and out, up and down, up and down toward this permanent magnet, uh, the, deflect, the needle on galvanometer will deflect. Also, the same thing here. If the magnet moves up and down or the solenoid, the wire itself moves up and down, it will produce electric current as well. Okay, Some, same thing here. We move magnet or we move coil or we move 
wire or we move magnet, it will produce electric current. So these are the conditions that it will produce current. There must be movement of wire or movement of magnet. Okay, remember, what if both moving together? Like this is my solenoid. This is my solenoid. Okay, and this is my magnet. I put it in and both move together. There will not be relative motion. You didn't cut through anything, right? So there will be no electric current. Okay, I hope that you understand how does the electric current is produced. So we have various type of generator, but generally all generator uh, work based on the same concept. You look at this thing. Okay, so when you boil something, the water will become steam, right? And then it will turn the turbine. That turbine will turn the magnet inside the generator. So it generates electricity. Okay, same thing happened here. When water flow down, it will actually turn the turbine. And the turbine connect to magnet or dynamo. And then there will be relative motion between uh, magnet and wire. And then it produces current. As long as you turn the turbine, it produces current because the turbine is actually connected to the dynamo. Okay, so I hope that you really go through all these generators in your textbook. They are all together six. Uh, five of it actually work based on same concept. That's all for generation of electricity. I will proceed to uh, type of current the next lesson. Thank you.